Hello and welcome to another video. It has been a long time. Uh, obviously, I spent the summer in the UK with my mum and dad and two sisters. That was really nice. Spent some time uh, with them. Uh, my elder sister, she's uh, three, about three years older than me. She's got uh, two children at about seven and nine years old. It was nice to see them. Uh, my sister is a vegan, elder sister, she's a vegan, so she won't eat any meat or anything produced by animals, so eggs, uh, milk, cheese, honey. So it was interesting uh, looking at her lifestyle and it made me reflect on my eating and the ethics of eating meat and so currently I am probably eating about 70-80% less meat uh, than before the summer. Um, I didn't drink milk in China so that's the only thing that hasn't really changed so don't really drink milk but yeah about 70-80% less meat and eggs and I've replaced uh, the meat uh, the protein I need to replace, I've been eating lots of chickpeas. Chickpeas about 24% protein. Uh, kidney beans, again around about 24% protein. Uh, red lentils, again up there at about one quarter uh, protein. Uh, those have been my main uh, go-to sources. I uh, actually feel a bit better, if anything. feel, I don't know, maybe less tired, maybe just a bit more fresh, a bit more energy, but it could be, could be anything really, it's, no, it's not a science investigation, so yeah, that's where I'm at with that, I don't know if I will continue to reduce my meat intake, it's quite low now, um, yeah, I feel, to feel a little guilty sometimes of consuming uh, meat, considering uh, the industry uh, around the production of meat, so yeah, it's on my mind, it's something I, I'm thinking about. Um, yeah, so I had a nice time in the summer, it's good to be back uh, in Shanghai, it's good to be back in school and seeing everybody, that's really nice. Uh, I have tried to learn, two things I've tried to learn, I've tried to learn a little bit of sign language. I didn't know that sign language was different from country to country, which in hindsight of course it would be because it would it would evolve organically, right? So of course it would be, but yeah, when I went onto YouTube, I said, oh, I want to you know, learn sign language with all these different countries. So obviously I went for Chinese sign language, I was actually uh, inspired to have a little go at learning because right here, I'm just in Starbucks and that, this Starbucks that I came to one time, uh, there was someone sat down and I sat by them and I, I kind of tried to speak to them. I just wanted to know if the chair was available, but they didn't really uh, talk to me. And later their friend came along and they were uh, communicating in sign language. So I figured that was the reason probably that she didn't really say anything to me. Uh, so yeah, I have started to learn. So for example, it's right? And then we got And what they said to me actually when I, I moved my bag off the chair and this uh, I've been bit by mosquito. These friends they said they said thank you to me. I didn't I kinda guessed at the time but I checked and of course this is see here. That's what they did. See here when I moved my my bag off the Table. This is why I always carry a backpack because I get bitten by a mosquito and I need to put the cream on. Um, so yeah, what else have I learned? I have learned but the second lesson was about family. So ja, family, mother, father. Um, that's daughter, newer, and then. Oh. 
I have forgotten how oh, Urza is. That's Urza. And then, uh, Elder Sister, Kie Kie, Mei Mei, Didi, and Gurga. Oh no, Gurga, Didi. So, older brother, younger brother. And then, uh, some other words. Oh, from the family, we got. That is mother's mother, so maternal grandmother and paternal grandmother and what else have we got? Oh, paternal grandfather and paternal grandfather. I guess that's like the beard, I guess. Uh, yeah, so that's been kind of interesting uh, to learn. And then also I've been trying to learn a bit of Korean which is good fun uh, it's, it's not so I don't want to say it's difficult because I mean it is difficult but I, I think that's a good thing sometimes to try something difficult to try something that you know from the beginning that will be difficult you've never tried before and it's going to be really challenging so yeah so that's pretty much everything um, you where I am. You may recognize. Just at uh, Century, Century Avenue. Oh, I got uh, my whoop. It's been really good recently. With the whoop, you track the activities that you do, and then it will tell you with those activities during the day had a positive or negative impact on your sleep been bitten again um, and so for example if you uh, something. if you had a glass of wine for example one day you, you track that down and then if you had a good night sleep it would tell you or vice versa and over time it's tracking all these activities and telling you you had a good sleep or that's it telling you the effect of these activities on your sleep and I've started stretching more and stretching has had kind of like a three or four percent uh, positive impact on my sleep and one thing as well that's helped has been journaling so before I sleep I would spend about 20 minutes writing a journal like a diary but more rather than focusing on events that happened I like to focus on the, uh, the feelings which I had at any particular moment positive or negative and then any suggested remedies, things you can improve on. And that's really helped. And last night I woke up at about two in the morning, couldn't sleep. But I just got up, uh, I wrote some journal, I did some cooking. I've been doing a lot of cooking, which I've really enjoyed. I'll have to do a cooking video because my latest, uh, latest meal, I think, is uh, really nice. So yeah. That is the current situation, so thanks for watching and I'll see you all on, uh, I'll see you all soon, bye bye.